come off the crew transport vehicle. There are first looks of, uh, and, and now we have our first looks of uh, Endeavour's crew. Led by Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Greg Johnson. Greeted first by NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden. Mission Specialist Mike Fink, wearing the baseball cap. European Space Agency Roberto Vittori. Drew Foistel, making their way down the re essentially receiving greeting line. See Bob Cabana, and then behind him, Associate Administrator for Space Operations Bill Gerstenmaier, and Greg Shamatov. Shaking hands with Bill Gerstenmaier now. Mike Leinbach, Shuttle Launch Director, and Thomas Ryder, the, the Director of Human Space Flight for the European Space Agency and, and former astronaut. We're now making our way across the uh, tarmac. Mike Fink talking to, uh, among other people, John Casper. Former astronaut and part of the associate program manager for the space shuttle program. I think looking in typically high spirits. Mm -hmm. Talking to Pete Nicolinko and Charlie Blackwell Thompson of the Launch Vehicle Processing Director here at Kennedy Space Center. Mike Fink emphatically telling apparently some <laughs> perhaps re-entry story. Craig Shamatov, the member of the Johnson Space Center support personnel. As you can see from this, it's a Deputy Space Shuttle Program Manager Leroy Kane talking to Mark Kelly. You can see from that uh, video, it's a organized chaotic scene there. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden talking to Mark Kelly now. Both shuttle commanders. You can see people looking at the uh, nose cap. This traditional walk around also is a post landing inspection of sorts to see how well the their spacecraft fared on uh, during its 16-day mission to the International Space Station. 
You can see the microphone set up there for an eventual statement to be made by the uh, crew. Mark Keller receiving, uh, at least seeing a a NASA astronaut bear. Number of uh, trinkets like that that are, uh, and of course, posing for pictures. That's part of the traditional walk around. Crew gets a chance to talk to the, some of the ground personnel that have uh, helped get them not only out of the shuttle but uh, deconfigure their spacecraft. Crew seems to be heading towards, uh, at least a number of them heading towards the f nose cap. And putting their hands actually on the reinforced carbon carbon nose. Maybe to And it looks like they're just about ready to make a statement, led by NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden, and then uh, and then the SCS-134 crew. Somebody's going to tell me when I can yeah, if he steps this way. Are you in charge there, Bill? Are you ready? You guys can come up if you'd like, because I'm going to introduce Mark Kelly and his crew. We want to welcome them back after an incredible mission, and uh, Mark Kelly, you got it. Um, first, let me say, I know it's 3.30, 4 in the morning, so it's really late for everybody. It's actually about mid, we're wide awake, and it's about middle of the uh, day for us. Uh, it's great to be back here at the Kennedy Space Center. It's great to be bring Endeavor back in great shape. It looks like it's ready to go do another mission, but uh, this is going to be the last flight. Mission went great. We installed the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, uh, ELC-3, so we have the station positioned to where over the next 10, 15, 20 years, it's got the spare parts it needs uh, to, to continue doing the science that is uh, so relevant today. Uh, AMS is already collecting data. We're pretty excited about that and looking forward to hearing some more about it. Uh, I really want to thank my crew members who did such a spectacular job on this flight. Uh, could not have done this without them. Uh, they all, every single one of them, just performed and our flawlessly. Commander, we want to thank him too. So, so thanks for coming out. It's great to be back and uh, have a good have a good morning. So long.
and Endeavor's STS-134 astronauts will now uh, board the Astrovan and head back to the crew quarters at Kennedy's Operations and Checkout Building. That's the sort of their home away from home when they're here for mission preps and pre-launch. They're boarding the Astro Van now, and they'll take that uh, drive to crew quarters, undergo some additional medical checks and post-landing work that they have to do. And uh, with any luck, we'll get to see them again in about four hours or so, perhaps a little earlier, for a post-landing crew news conference live on NASA television. But before that, we'll have a post-landing news conference with three NASA managers who, uh, who are also on the shuttle runway greeting the crew. Associate Administrator for Space Operations Bill Gerstenmeyer, Shuttle Launch Integration Manager Mike Moses, and Shuttle Launch Director Mike Leinbach. They'll be heading to Kennedy's press site shortly to be uh, begin a post-landing news conference. Have been scheduled for about uh, about now to start, but of course they're still on the runway and uh, won't leave there until after the crew departs, which they're doing now. So we expect to not have that news conference uh, at least for another 15 minutes or so. Please stay tuned to NASA television for the latest on when the news conference with the NASA managers will start. So after a 16-day mission, Space Shuttle Endeavors SCS-134 astronauts head back to crew quarters. And that will wrap up NASA Television's continuous commentary for the SCS-134 mission. Endeavors final flight shuttle landing and recovery at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We'll see you for the post-landing news conference shortly.